Hello, I am Jenny Scott Washington, visual artist, TV producer, and host of Jenny Reflections, a program created with you, the viewers, in mind, reflecting with our guests on a variety of subjects. Since you want Harold, here's Harold. A jigsaw puzzle, one of um, three puzzles that I had the pleasure of painting. I had the pleasure of not only designing the puzzles, that we took a set to Carol Washington in City Hall. What a pleasure. Very, very pleasant experience. Here, my family, part of my family, put on a fundraiser called the Seven Cousins for Harold Washington back in 1987. My daughter, daughter, brother-in-law, niece, cousins, Father High School. I was artist, teacher, my alma mater of ten young students to create this six foot mural that hopefully is still at Dusabo High School today. From Jean Betty Point Dusabo, founder of Chicago, to Carol Washington. Some of the students, a uh, young lady from the Chicago Office of Fine Arts, the gentleman in the far right, Earl Calloway, long-standing uh, fine arts editor at the Chicago Daily Defender. Up to the far left, Vince Cullors, one of our first African-American ad agents in many years. Principal at that time. A lady from the fine arts. Teacher, art teacher, art director behind him with my art director Northside and student. He got an award plus $50 in 1987. I was going to present my painting of Harold Washington, but unfortunately uh, he wasn't able to come. However, Jenny, Caroline, and my one of my sons, Kevin. Kevin the Tribune did the story, which I was very pleased that we read and teach the children, all children.
1922 to 1987. To make sure that I'm giving you the proper title, is James Gale, Most Worshipful Grand Master of the Most Worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of the State of Illinois. Welcome. Thank you, Jenny. I've heard a great deal about the Grand Lodge, about Masons, but I never quite understood what it all meant. Maybe you can enlighten me. Well, Jenny, uh, Mayor Hal Washington uh, belonged to our organization. He belongs to our suburban, suburban at large, uh, Harmony 88, here in the city of Chicago. And he was also a 32nd degree Mason, which he belonged to Western Consistory number 28 and uh, he was also a Shriner, uh, belonging to Army's Temple number 44 here in the city. Arabic, Arabic Temple number 44. Now, uh, the different groups, like Prince Hall, um, Mason, Masonic, are th they're all part of the same organization? Yes, it is. Okay, and uh, this, um, how do you select people to be a part of this group? Well, we naturally, we take good men and make better men out of them. They petition the Lodge, and then they go through a, such a procedure as an investigation, and then they, the petitions are processed, and then they begin to take their de degrees in the Mason. I see. Uh, if... Um would you say that anyone who wants to belong to the Masons can become a part of this group? Yes, uh, a select group that has good morals. How old uh, is the group? Masonry dates back to the 17th century. It's older than the Constitution. <laughs> and Prince Hall. The Prince uh, Hall, uh, from whom... This is actually a name of a person. Yes. This is uh, more or less the, our founder in the United States, Prince Hall. And would you like for me to give you some history on Prince Hall? Well, if you could briefly, yes, well, I would Prince like Hall was born in British uh, Barbados, India, West India. His mother, his father was a Frenchman and his mother was a uh, a free black lady of, uh, uh, let me out, Brian, a little bit here. 